It's Ray Glasser on April 1st, 2024. I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. I haven't been on camera because I've been busy with my radio shows in the last few years, but I'm here. I wanted to show you what's in my video rack here in 2024. I'm also going to tell you that I'm probably the only guy in the U.S. that has four Japanese market Betamaxes in his video rack. There's not one American machine here. We're going to go through everything on this rack one by one. This is the clock timer to the Quasar Great Time Machine that I also have in this video room. I finally got a working timer, the DT20, which goes with the first Sony Betamax deck, the SL7200. And this was the $40 accessory. Below that is an old DVD player, of course, the Sony. Below that is my current 4K Blu-ray UHD Sony player. This is one of four Japanese market Betamaxes. This is a very unique machine and I love it to death. It's a Sony model SLHF1000D, which is a hybrid between the American 750 and the American 1000. This opens up, unless you put the tape in there to play, isn't that cool? <laughs> and when you push the stop button or the play button, it sucks it right back up in there. So that's a great machine. Records and plays back all three beta speeds. Down here, my pride and joy, my wedding gift to my wife in 1979, the SL J7. The first Japanese Betamax I ever got. I still think these buttons which you can access from the top or the front of the machine look really, really cool. It's, it's a great machine. Records and plays back beta 1 and beta 2. Down here, my token VHS machine. This is the Sony SVO2000 Industrial Super VHS, which works great, handles all three VHS speeds and built like a tank. I paid 30 bucks for this thing about 20 years ago and it's still ticking, it still works. Over now to the center of the video rack. This is a region-free DVD player that I bought about two years ago for $35. This little sucker plays DVDs from anywhere in the world and it plays them really well. I've got a bunch of DVDs here that would never release on NTSC. They are in PAL format for England. They play great, and they can also copy to NTSC. This is a step-down transformer. I have a roof antenna on top of my house, so I can pull in HD TV channels, and with this thing, it steps them down to regular uh, non-HD TV, so I can record TV either on a Betamax or on a DVD recorder, which is right here. This is a Magnavox DVD recorder, which I bought 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, it works great. That's all I can say. I love it. My other pride and joy, this is the Sony SLHF 3000, which is a clone of the American SLHF 1000. Amazing machine. When I bought this thing, it was like brand new. I had no wear and tear on it at all. And the interesting thing is, all these buttons here had some give to them. Pardon me, it had no give to them. They snapped. They were like brand new. And this, this machine, I just love it. Here's my fourth Japanese Betamax, the SLJ9, which has never worked since I owned it about six or seven years ago. It needs a loading motor. So hopefully someday I can get that taken care of. This was a successor to the SLJ7 over here. This came out in 79. This came out in 1980. This handles beta 2 and 3 and record, beta 1, 2, and 3 and playback. And that's a video rack here in 2024.